In LR26, we're using the triangle inequality, inequality conjecture to solve for missing sides of a triangle, and we're describing the relationship between sides of a triangle and the opposite angles. So on a sheet of paper, go ahead and draw out any triangle that you want. It can be scalene, it can be acute, whatever. And you're going to label your sides A, B, and C. And then with a ruler, go ahead and measure them. Okay? And you're picking any two to add, and you're comparing that to the third side. And in any case, the two added together should be bigger than the third. So this is what the triangle inequality conjecture is. Just saying that the sum of any two sides of the triangle is greater than the length of the third side. Okay, and this works in any triangle, whether it's isosceles, scalene, um, equilateral, doesn't matter. It'll work out. When I'm asked to find the range of possible lengths of the third side, I have two scenarios I want to think about. First of all, I want to think of what the smallest possible side is. So if I have a triangle like this, and I have one that's 21, and one that's 10, and I'm looking for that missing side, the smallest number that I can add to 10 to get to 21 is 11. Now, 11 itself does not work. Okay? But if I put 12, all of a sudden I can't include 11.1 or 11.2 or 11.01, etc. So I'm going to write that 11 is less than x. That way, I just have to pick something that's bigger than 11. Okay? But 11 itself doesn't work. The second scenario we want to think about is, well, what if the biggest side is the one that's missing? So I have 10 and 21, the biggest possible side, when I add those together, is 31. And again, 31 doesn't work, because 10 plus 21 equals 31, but 30 works, and 30.5 works, and 30.9 works, so if I put 30 in, I'm excluding everything between 30 and 31. So I'm going to put 31 in, but leave my answer as x is less than 31. This is how you're going to write your answer. And if you're looking for a shortcut, you're subtracting to find the smallest number, and you're adding to find the biggest. So again, if my sides are 14 and 25, the shortest possible is 11, because 25 minus 14 is 11. The biggest possible is 39. Right, if you draw a scalene triangle on your page, so one where all three sides are different, and you go through and you label the shortest side S, the longest side L, and the medium side M, and do the same thing with your angles. Label the smallest angle S, the largest angle L, and that middle angle M, you should notice that the letters end up across from each other. So the smallest angle ended up across from the smallest side, the largest angle across from the largest side, etc. This is what the side angle inequality conjecture is. That in a triangle, the angle opposite the longer side is always greater than the angle opposite the shorter side. Okay. Big angles across from the big side, medium across from the medium side, small across from the small side. All right, before I fill anything else in, I'm going to find this missing angle. So I have um, a 90 degree angle, which means I have 90 degrees left, minus 35 is 55. And now I'm asked to list from largest to smallest. So I'm going to find the largest angle first, which is this 90 degree angle. That 90 degree angle is across from B, so B is my longest side. The second largest angle is that 55 degree angle. That's across from A, so A is my second largest side, and then my smallest angle, 35, is across from C. This time we're listing the angles, smallest to largest. I'm finding my smallest side, 
7 is across from C. My second smallest side is across from B, and my largest side is across from A. When I get to something like this, we're going from greatest to least, so I'm going to start in the big triangle. And my first three values have to come from that red triangle. That second triangle has to have the three smallest values. And notice one of them is going to overlap. Well, E is in both. So as I'm doing this, if E doesn't end up in the middle spot, I know I made a mistake. So we're going to focus just on the big triangle for a second. So I'm ignoring that blue triangle. I'm going to find the largest side just in the red triangle. So 85 is across from D. So D has to be the largest side. The next largest angle just in that red triangle is across from C. And then the smallest angle is across from E, so I know I'm on the right track. Within that blue triangle then, the largest side there is E. The next largest is 55 degrees across from the side B. And then the smallest angle is across from A.